Hey there. I wanted to clarify a video I made earlier about connecting an Excel workbook directly to the responses of a Microsoft form. So you'll start that process going to um, Excel on your 365 account on the web. And so that's where I am now. I'm, I'm in my 365 and I'm on a new workbook and I'm going to the insert tab and I'm going to forms, new form. Now what this does is kicks me in my 365 account to a brand new clean form. Uh, my favorites. And then what I'll do is add a question. So favorite dessert question. And this will say ice cream cream and we'll do cake and we'll do um let's see pie and we'll do cookies all right and other okay so just because i can't stand it there we've got to fix it all right so um now you've got a uh, a form started you probably need to go ahead and go and collect responses. I would say cho change this so anyone can respond if that is what you need to do. And go to copy. Get your link there. You can even shorten it if you need to. Now I'm going to open an incognito window because I want to fill out the form as an anonymous person there. So I'll go to choose my favorite and submit. Now what that does over here back on our form, there's the form as I've created it. Here are the responses. Now remember that you can go anytime and download the Excel of the responses that have come in so far. But you know what? If you choose that, it's a moment in time. So if new responses come after, you don't get them. That's why I'm setting it up this way. In the web version of Excel, when you start with the new form in here, it builds it directly in the Excel, and there is my answer. Let me come submit another one. So it's this one, submit another response. Let's say this one is cookies and submit. And again, I'll minimize that. There it is, populating right away. So you could go here and anytime you need to download that set of responses. See, there's your questions, there's your responses. You can open it in Excel but that would only be those two responses. If more came in later, I would want to capture it um, automatically in here. It, if you need this, you're going to love it. So anyway, yes, you can add this into your Teams channel. You could directly add the Excel form from inside Teams. This would work great so everybody on the team could see responses but just to simplify it right there from the start. Have a great day.